Hi, I'm Dom and welcome to my channel, The Metal Muse, where I react to and discuss all things metal. Now this is the Halloween episode, which is why I'm dressed as Snow White. And well, the reason I picked Snow White is I never tan. I wear Factor 50 every day and I'm as white as a ghost. So it was either this or Casper. And I went with this. I also kind of wanted to see what I'd look like with this like hair. I've got very long hair at the moment and I'm like, oh, would I, would I suit a bob? Would I suit bangs? And this um, very cheap wig is helping me realize that possibly no, this is not my look. So anyway, on with the show. So because it's a Halloween special, I thought what would be better than react to Epica's new release, which is The Ghost In Me. It's uh, well, brackets, dance, dance macabre. So I love Epica. I've reacted to one of their songs before um, and they played at Mira Luna, which I attended and I was just really impressed with them live. So I thought, yep, yeah, this is it. This is perfect. This is the video to do on Halloween. And it's definitely got the spooky vibes because the whole video is filmed um, in collaboration with a, a theme park and I think they've done it up all spooky. I haven't watched anything. I've done my best to avoid any sort of online stuff about it, but I, that's like the one bit of information that has managed to get through the, the net of protection that I put around myself to avoid any sort of bias. So without any more ramble, without any more preamble, which is also a ramble I'm well aware, why not let's just dive right into the reaction. Do you want to know something funny what I hadn't counted on was how would I wear these headphones and this terrible wig. <laughs> is my ribbon, is my ribbon still in place? Okay, let's go. You know what? I'm getting this now. I have heard this song before. Like this is a this this melody. Like this is a proper proper melody from somewhere else, which the name absolutely of the original piece completely confounds me. Um, but do you know where you will have heard that a million times? If you're thinking, hey, I, I get that. If you watch what we do in shadows, then yes, this theme is like constantly played through that. Um, what we do in shadows is about these bunch of vampires that live together in Staten Island. It's amazing and I would recommend you go watch it. But it's really funny to hear that like in this kind of context with Epica. So I am very intrigued. Plus I love, I love her contact lenses. This is, I'm, I'm really excited for this. You know, I absolutely love it. They've got like the the children's choir because like what says spooky, but like weird little children and like they're kind of like weird melodic singing. Like in every horror movie, there's always a child that speaks to people that aren't there or has creepy little sing songs. And at that point, I'd be like, um, you know, kid, we had a good run of it. 
mummies out. I just, oh, no, 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 spooky. But it's a totally adding to this atmosphere. Um, the location, yeah, it's kind of spooky, but it's giving very much, you know, um, the Hogwarts experience um, down in London. And yeah, I have to say the bit where it's like really pulling me in is the guitar. Do you hear that? I was like, oh yeah, good. Like, you know, metal stank face at that point. You're like, yes, this is good. But yeah, no, I'm enjoying this so far. I can't say at the moment, this is like my most favorite Epica offering, but for Halloween, yes, um, I'm quite enjoying it. I don't want to really interrupt this lovely guitar piece, but like, does that not kind of remind you? Like, you know, when Slash walks out of the church and then they like, he, like plays guitar and like the, the, the helicopter's like circling around him. This is giving real Slash vibes at the moment, but um, right, I'm gonna put it back just a little bit, see? Because I don't want to kind of, I want to really like appreciate this. Do you know, I hate to say this because uh, you can see this big wire here, but I, this was kind of throwing me out of the video experience. Like you can see his in earpiece there, like really obviously. And I'm just thinking, you know, this is your video. You, somebody could have probably fixed that to kind of like stop taking people out the fantasy. But then again, I am a hypocrite, but then again, I'm not Epica and I don't have a whole team here. I just got me, my cheap, cheap wig and uh, costume from Amazon. So, you know, we can't judge me by the same standards as well saying but I'm really yeah this is good but I I'm I'm not there yet if you get my drift I'm not there yet with this song spoke too soon I'm there now I'm there now yes right like I'm there now I spoke too soon I spoke too soon Okay, this is what I wanted. This is what I was after. This is what I was expecting. And do you know what? I'm loving her and that dress. Oh, a, what kind of how would you describe that? Like the kind of cut out patterns across her and like with the gloves and the everything. This is what I was expecting. This is what I want. And in a way, I'm almost like maybe she should have just been having her witchy occult moment. Like that could have been more of a theme for the whole um you know, video. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong, there is that kind of, you know, hocus pocus, Sarah Sanderson, you know, come little children, I'll take thee away with the kids here and the choirs and stuff. But like, I think this could have been a really nice, like witchy sort of number with her and a coven in the woods. And anyway, that's, I suppose that was more my fantasy, but I'm loving this second half of the video. I'm back, I get it now, I get it, I'm with it. <laughs>
oh my gosh, does that moment where she's kind of looking back and then that maniacal laughter and even with that one um, kind of green contact lens, is she not giving thriller vibes? You know, at the end when Michael Jackson like looks over and the eyes are all like werewolfy and then you hear like Vincent Price's like maniacal laugh. That's totally the vibes I'm getting from this. So for me, I'm not sure that that song was like a pure hit. Like, um, I like the idea of it. I like the use of the melody. I thought it was, it was very good, but like it was very slow for me to get going. Like the, even the narrative of the video was very slow to me to get going. And also given how epic Simone's voice is and how at the end, you know, the power with the choir and it was, it was really gosh darn good. I was almost like, it's too cartoonish. Like, the whole vibe wasn't matching up for me. Um, I was really impressed though with the singing and the playing and the second half of everything was what was for was what worked for me. Um, so I can't say that I was like bowled over and it was amazing and brilliant, but like, cause trust me, when I saw them live at Mira Luna, I lost my mind, my throat, everything. Like I just was, I was like screaming, I was so happy. So to kind of go from that live energy to kind of this where I'm a bit like, it feels really hypocritical to say jokey when I'm sat in basically a joke costume myself and I'm a joke today. Um, so I'm aware of how hypocritical that seems, but it just really wasn't it for me. Um, it really wasn't. Um, I, I think I get the concept of like, it's it's a nice idea using that location, but it was too, th and, it, and it is a theme park. So obviously it was theme parky, but I just felt the power and the majesty of the music and with the choir and the power there, they could have just done so much more with it. Like when you saw Simone, you know, in her classic sort of regalia, like doing her thing. And I was like, yes, this is what I want. Less of this Harry Potter world experience for me. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't feel really moved by this one, but I really like the use of the melody. And I have to say, I really hope at some point, maybe what we do in Shadows will use it or somehow incorporate it into a storyline because could you imagine Simone is one of the vampires like hanging out with Nadia and Laszlo and Nandor? Like that would be so cool. If you don't watch that show, you have no idea who I'm talking about, but I love what we do in Shadows and the original big fan over here but yeah so I mean it's fine it was okay it didn't it didn't move me but uh you know at the end like you really that was chef's kiss but the start was a bit like meh and then kind of the narrative with the kids I was like the progression of the video was like well where's this going like are we taking them off to sacrifice them are they demons like what are we doing here are we just having a wander around like a park um and I think the most yeah, it just, and there was little details like the earpiece, like they could have touched that up. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, like I said though, hypocrite. <laughs> it's the most ramshackle production you can find on YouTube is right here, baby. But I don't know. It just wasn't it for me. They've done so much better. And I don't know if this was just like a little wink to Halloween, nothing they were taking too seriously. But yeah, I just, I don't feel like it moved me. But I am rambling now, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I think I'm gonna do like another Halloween video because I put all this effort into putting on red lipstick and a wig that <laughs> I can't, I can't get to sit right. It's probably like sitting lopsided at the moment and I probably look really weird and mental. I might just lose the wig for the rest, of, for the next video because who can be bothered with that? Ain't nobody got time for a cheap wig like this, so. Anyway, I hope that you have a spectacular Halloween. And you get lots of trick and tr lots of trick or treats, lots of tricks and treats. Does that make sense? Anyway, um, have a good one. I hope you have like lots of lovely ghouls and you have like good times and don't do anything too crazy. Um, I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna just stop. Until next time, you stay classy.